Hey y'all, welcome back to the Smoke Dungeon. DB here, and today we're taking a look. We're gonna open Archie's War, the battle for Guadalcanal, and check it out. This is from Worthington Publishing. Uh, it came out last year, I think. Twenty. It says published in 2022, but uh, I got this last year. And this is an interesting one. Um, this is the battle for Guadalcanal. However, it's one to two players. There's a solo version and then a two player version as well. Um, and right here we got typical nice box from Worthington. But I want to talk to you. This box art, right, by the way, is super cool. Great picture of Vandergriff right there. I dig it. I dig it. Um, but yes, I want to talk about this game. Because I saw an ad for this game and I hadn't bought it. And I was thinking about buying it, and I was on the fence, right? So I went to Board Game Geek, and I looked at some reviews, and there was one review that was, like, kind of not really skating, but kind of, like, negative in general. And then the uh, game designer, a dude by the name of Derek Croxton, replied to this fellow, right? And he replied explaining his thought process and whatnot, in a very nice, friendly manner. You know what I mean? Um, and that right there got me to buy the game. Um, because I love somebody that, like, stands up to that kind of crap, dude. Because this guy designed a game. And you don't have to like it. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. But I don't know. If, when I read the review, I was just kind of like, dude, this guy. Like, I don't know. He's like, seems overly negative for no reason. Is let's let's leave it like that. Um, and my man Derek here had a had a had a response back, very measured, explained himself. And the dude who had the initial review was like, "Oh snap, yo! I didn't think about it that way. That's super cool." Um, and I have looked at the rules to this game, so let's open it up and check it out. Um, first things first, we got a battle archive. These are record sheets for all your games that you'll find in almost all Worthington games, dude. They're super cool. Um, I don't actually write in them. I photocopy them, y'all, and use those. So, like, that's my advice to you. Um, but they have nice pictures, um, usually uh, either historical photos or they'll have some hand-drawn stuff. Super cool. We know most of these photos. They're all pretty much um, rather, uh, if you're into World War II stuff, you'll know most of those. And I've been, um, I'm always hot for Pacific War, dude. But for some reason, recently, I've been in it. Now, this is something I thought was a little odd. There are two rule books. And they're both in English. And, uh, yeah. Normally, a um, Worthington game will have, like, a rule book. And then they have a thing with, like, it'll explain, like, the cards or uh, just some historical background, but I don't recall them ever having two. And I've reviewed a bunch of Worthington games, so check it out if you want to on my channel. Um, or don't. I don't really give a shit. So the rule book coming in at 12 pages. Um, it's not, it's like regular paper, but it's glossified, y'all, which I like. I like that. TB likes that. It's almost, almost has like a little waggle in the paper. You know, so if you turn a page pretty rough, it's not going to like rip right away. Um, you have a picture of the map. You have how you set up your units. Special rules, resolve attacks. You're looking at. So for the main, for the two player version, you're looking at only seven pages of rules, y'all. Pretty cool, right? Um, and then the solitaire version is even wilder. You have, uh, it's what, page 8 to 11? So you're looking at three pages of rules for the solitaire version of this game, which I will tell you is the version after reading the rules that I'm jazzed to play. And then you just have some publisher notes right here where, uh, you know, they tell you, Worthington tells you their thoughts for the game and everything. So yeah, pretty cool. Here we have our sticker sheet, y'all, because... This game is a block game. And these are stickers with unit strengths and then special unit abilities. We have the Americans up here. 
And then we have the Japanese here. And the cool thing about this one, you'll notice, they give you two sets of it, y'all. So if you lose one, you, you're good to go. Um, and let's, before we look at the board, we're going to look at this. So right here, we have our blocks. I haven't opened these yet. As you can see, we have green for American, red for Japanese. Um, you'll put one sticker on one side. So the other side will just be colored because this is a bluffing game. And then we have yellow blocks that are used for the solitaire version and as turn markers. And then we have one die, which I'm going to open up and roll because, to be honest with you, it looks kind of shitty. And that displeases me. How long is it going to take me to open this, y'all? What do you think? Oh, there we go. Let's see what we got. Oh, that die's not, not my favorite, y'all. It's plastic, rounded corners. Pips are like crazy spaced out. I'll be taking this die out and putting something else in there. Four, though. Not a bad roll. All right. And what is dope, though, is they do give you this plastic thing with a lid to keep all your blocks in there. Worthington is really good about that, dude. Everyone, check it out. Here's our map. Small map, y'all, right? It's only a uh, three-fold map. So, oh, that's a solo side. Here is the two-player side. And the way this game works is you're going to have your units at certain spaces, and then you're going to be able to move and attack, but you're not going to know one guy's going to be here and one's going to be here. Your units are going to be facing you so that only you know their strength values. You don't know your opponents, right? And then you move them in towards one another, and then the high value wins, and then you resolve combat that way. Um, movement is along the road. You can move almost unlimited. The trail is different. Um, the map is really cool. The gameplay for the two-player version, I got to say, the bluffing thing, like, I don't know. I haven't played the game yet, so... I'm not going to really um, give you a comment, but like, I feel like it does lack, it's it's not the best format, let's just say. I feel like maybe if you had the strengths and then you added die rolls and stuff, it would be really cool. Um, but I don't know. I haven't played the game, so I got to play it, right? You know, and then I'll give you my review of like what I really think about it. Unlike other people who just kind of shit on things. Or praise things, you know? I'm just going to give it to you straight. So, that's our two-player side, y'all. Here's the side I am so jazzed to play. And this is the one-player side, y'all. And here, the game is a lot different. It's almost an entirely different game. Um, and this Solitaire War game, from reading the just quick rules and knowing where we're going to go on the sides here is like right up my alley, dude. And I'm so jazzed. As a matter of fact, as soon as I finish this video, I'm stickering these blocks and I'm playing this shit before my kids get home from school. So bam, but check it out. How this works is entirely different than the other side. So you're going to play the Americans and you are going to have six actions right here. And you're going to have units out here in these green boxes. Japanese are going to be in the red boxes, right? And you're going to be able to pick what you want to do. Raid Point Cruise, Raid Coley Point, Raid the Jungle, Patrol, Repair Henderson Field, or Appeal to the Navy for help. Um, and you can do, you can't do the same thing, I think it's like twice in a row. Uh, it's kind of scythe in that version, or in that way. I believe that you can't do the same thing twice in a row, or you can't do it two out of three times. I forget. Um, like I said, I haven't played, so, you know. But then, if you do the appeal to the Navy, you get to roll for random stuff. You can bring in the CBs, reinforcements, artillery, uh, all kinds of stuff. Or you could get nothing, you know, which I always love. I love when you roll a snake, you get nothing, right? The Navy says, beat it. Um, so that's, you'll be able to pick your own actions. Now, what the Japanese do is they are going to roll a die every turn. So they're going to roll, and that's going to be like where they attack or what they do. And if you roll a six, then they'll do some crazy stuff. They'll do like a Japanese naval bombardment or naval victory, or maybe even some bad stuff will happen, um, which is pretty cool. 
And then the way the strength and everything works over here is if um, you have the actual strength of the units, which are on the blocks, then you have bonsai results. You get the roll die to see the strength. You're rolling damage die. So there's a lot more variation in the die rolls on this side. Um, it's also limited to 18 turns. So uh, you'll get reinforcements on certain turns. The object is to defend Henderson Field, obviously, from the Japanese. There you have it, dude. I don't know. I am jazzed to play this solo version. That is for sure. Because you know me. I am a Sato, a.k.a. Johnny No Mates, down here in the smoke dungeon. You know what I mean? But this two-player version is, is uh, you know, I will check this out. I actually think this version, the two-player version, might be good for my kid. Um, and I don't mean that in a condescending way because, you know, he the oldest is seven. Um, but because it's it's like a bluffing thing and there's only a few special abilities and the movement isn't really restrictive and stuff... I feel like he'd get that, dude. And he uh he he loves him some uh some Pacific War stuff, dude. You know? When DB's your dad, you kinda have, you don't really have a choice till you're old enough. And he's still seven, so I got my hooks in him. But anyway, that's another story. So yeah, Archie's War, Battle for Guadalcanal, Worthington Games. Check it out, y'all. Let me know what you think in the comments if you have this. Or just keep your mouth shut and enjoy DB. You know what I'm saying? Be good to one another. Do what you feel.